All right, well, you know him as the host of Witch Police Radio, heard here on UMFM, but he's also the brains behind Shoot First, Ask Questions Later, a Q&A on concert photography happening October 16th at The Handsome Daughter. Sam Thompson joins me on the line. How are you doing, Sam? Not bad, how are you? I'm doing very well. So I know that you've done some, some other kind of like Witch Police offshoot events. I mean, you've obviously done some live tapings and then the, uh, the band mix-ups, but what led you to doing this uh, photography thing? I think this started when uh, a few months ago I did a, an episode, a regular episode of my show with uh, Dwayne Larson, who's a local, uh, well-known local music photographer. And um, the idea just kind of sparked when, when I was talking to him. And uh, we were, were actually trying to figure out a, a different way to do a live show. We've done, as you mentioned, the big mix-ups, which are still happening, and uh, a few just kind of regular interview shows. But I wanted to change it up a bit. And uh, after talking to him, I kind of got the idea of maybe focusing on something that's a very important part of the music scene, but kind of a different side of things. I mean, I think that um, everyone sees concert photos and maybe people don't really think about how much uh, what goes into them. I mean, uh, everyone can take photos now with their cell phones and I think it's maybe kind of overlooked, the actual art that goes into documenting live music. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in talking to Dwayne, then obviously on the on the episode, you've got, you know, questions that are kind of springing out of discussing with him, but does it lead to kind of like larger pictures about kind of the, the craft of live band photography? Like, is this something that you'd considered before or did it just kind of completely spring out of just the conversation with him uh well no i I thought about it before because i've always been interested um a lot of the i guess when i was younger you know pre-internet kind of days a lot of the record labels uh, i was particularly into kind of had um a unique look where i would notice sort of uh, every band promo and a lot of the album covers would kind of have a similar vibe and it was only later i realized that they were taken by the same photographers so i think that photography has kind of um the ability to really dictate the, the feel of a certain type of music or a certain label or a certain band. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, I think it's something that's just sort of overlooked. So I was always kind of thinking about it. And after talking to Dwayne, he answered a lot of my questions. But I had more, you know, a couple of days later that I wanted to talk about. And I knew there were a lot of other people doing what he does in the city as well. So just had the idea of having all of them on stage and opening it up to uh, my questions and the audience's questions as well. Seemed like a cool idea. So then, okay, assembling the panel, I guess yeah. we'll call them a panel, uh, were you looking for people kind of with different backgrounds or shooting different styles and stuff? Like what was kind of the, the wish list or the, the impetus behind who you ended up with? Well, uh, first of all, it was just, uh, I mean, Dwayne was the first one, obviously, as I said, he was kind of the, uh, the way this, this sort of started. And, um, the first person I thought of after him was Joey Sent, who has been, uh, taking photos for years. I mean, she took photos of my old bands in the nineties and stuff. And I see her photos everywhere. So she was kind of an obvious choice. I'd wanted to have her on the show at some point anyway, and just hadn't got around to it. So uh, we had, when we had those two on, I asked Dwayne for some other suggestions, and he works with a lot of photographers for his own blog, and just, you know, he sees them at shows as well. So he gave me the suggestions for the other two. And so that's kind of how I got put together. But right. I know there's, I mean, there's four there, but there's plenty of other people doing great photography work in the city as well. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I obviously know that, like, you know, there's folks, you know, who are the f- principal photographers for, like, the Winnipeg Jazz Fest or other festivals. Right. And, you know, there's there's people who kind of make their bread and butter just kind of going out to, to venues. So, yeah, I was curious about kind of how you ended up with this list Well, of I think we, we, we stuck with four just, just for space-wise. I mean, it's the Handsome Daughter, uh, which is a great venue for doing these talking shows, but it's fairly limited stage size Intimate. and we wanted to keep it kind of manageable so i mean if it succeeds we could always do another one with some other people but for now we've got the four four person uh, panel and i think it'll work pretty good so i mean obviously you talk a lot with uh you know bands on on which police but in terms of talking to people who are within the music sphere but kind of not directly on stage yeah is this the kind of thing where you think like you know eventually you might talk to like the sound guys like have a sound guy panel or like talent agents or like, you know, does this kind of open an opportunity to kind of talk about the music business from a completely different angle? I'd like to do more of it, actually. Um, we've done uh, an episode earlier last year about show uh, posters, and that was a really fun one. It was, it was not a live show, it was just a regular episode, but... Oh, right, that was the one with uh, Al Nord, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. And he had been on previously as well, and I mean, that's just, that episode was completely about posters, and it really... Um, kind of opened it up to, to, a, to a new element of the scene that I hadn't really given too much thought to before. I mean, posters, just like the photos, you see them everywhere, and they're very associated with certain bands, certain venues, things like that, but it's kind of, you think of it, I think, more as, oh, that's the band's photo, or that's the band's poster, rather than thinking of, oh, that's an artist who created that themselves separately and interpreted the band's work in their own way mm-hmm. uh, to create what they created. So, 
Absolutely. Now, in terms of you know preparing for this Q and A, like you're you're moderating essentially, right? Yep. Do you look at it as a conversation, kind of not prepare too much, or do you kind of try to script out what you want to ask about? Well, this one's a little different because we are opening it up to audience participation. So I have kind of some some main core points that I want to go over, and uh, just some questions based on looking at each of the photographers' work. But we really are hoping that um, getting the crowd involved is going to kind of dictate maybe the direction it goes for at least for part of the show because um, we haven't done that before. We've had uh, at our last live when we did the Hanson Daughter, we had some audience questions, like uh, uninvited audience questions, that yelled them out, and it actually generated some interesting discussion. So actually having a mic for the audience to, to legitimately ask questions, I think, will uh, be interesting. That'll be audible on the recording and stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have any plants in the audience, just in case no one's asking questions? Uh, no, maybe I should get one, though. It's a, <laughs> it's a bad idea. Uh, but well, I, think I, we'll, I think we'll have enough on stage that, that uh, it'll, it'll work okay. For sure. Uh, so, details-wise, is there a cost to get in? No, it's a free show. It um, a free show. All the ones we've done at that venue have been free. And um, it's you know just, just, just a talking show. There's no, no live music this time. But uh, the one thing that's different is we will have work by all four photographers uh, in, on display in the venue. So people can, you know, whether it's while the show's happening or beforehand, while they're milling around waiting for it to start, they can go take a look at some of the photos by the artist. It's a little bit of an art show as well, so. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, a week Sunday at the Handsome Daughter, and it starts, is, does it start at 7 or is that just doors at 7? I think it's just doors at 7. Doors yeah, we'll, seven. we'll probably start around 7.30. Sure enough. Uh, there is a Facebook page for it, and of course, uh, Witch Police has its own, uh, witchpolice.com for, I guess, more information as well. Yeah, there's a post on there with all the, all the details as well. Perfect. Well, good luck with it, Sam, and uh, thanks for taking some time to talk about it. Awesome. Thanks a lot.